Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Technofiber, the official racket, string, bag and accessory of the ATP World Tour. Once again at a major, we're hearing whispers about match fixing, this time at Wimbledon. The Tennis Integrity Unit is investigating three Wimbledon matches and one at the French Open for potential match fixing. Two of the three Wimbledon matches were in the qualifying rounds, one was in the main draw. The USA Today reports that this is just the second time a match fixing alert has been filed for a Wimbledon match. When betting organizations notice unusually high betting activity on specific matches, they alert the Tennis Integrity Unit. Overall, the TIU received 53 alerts between April and June of this year. That's down from the same time last year. And 40 of those 53 alerts filed were from Challenger and ITF events. Only one involved a WTA match. Obviously, though, any alert raises questions. The fact that four involved Grand Slam matches is pretty rare and it's cause for concern. Important to note here, the Tennis Integrity Unit points out that these investigations are not evidence of match fixing. There are other factors to consider, including player fatigue, conditions, or the fact that some players aren't as successful on certain surfaces. All these things can obviously contribute to high betting patterns on a specific match. We're going to keep an eye on this investigation and we'll let you know how it develops. Moving on, Yuri Vesely has a new doubles partner, and boy did he charm fans at the Croatia Open. The pair partnered up for this very cute on-court celebration after a big win for Yuri. It's graduation day for the International Tennis Hall of Fame's Class of 2017 on Saturday. Former world number one players Andy Roddick and Kim Kleisters, tennis historian Steve Flink, coach and former player the late Vic Braden, and wheelchair pioneer Monique Kaufman will all be inducted into the Class of 2017 on July 22nd. Here's Kim Kleisters hanging out with Billie Jean King getting ready for the big day. If you've never visited, the Hall of Fame is a great trip for all tennis fans, and it hosts the only ATP grass courts in the United States that fans can play on when there's no tournament in session. Worth checking it out. And now to some of our favorite social media moments from the week. Here's a new Wilson ad featuring Roger Federer, Grigor Dimitrov, and Gail Malkin. I always embrace and enjoy playing on the big courts, which then helped to stay really motivated day to day. Especially the past two years, what I've, what I've gone through, I really take all that sort of negativity and turn it into something positive. During practice, I had uh, really good levels, but it's never easy to do the same during a match. So we have to be really strong mentally. I need uh, a lot of concentration, a lot of work, and then uh, I can reach this spot. I'd be uh, not far to be the best. Every match starts with Wilson. Rafa Nadal supports fundraising efforts for a pediatric cancer center in Barcelona. New world number one, Karolina Pliskova stretching her lead in training. Monica Puig gave us a glimpse of how Olympic champions train. Basketball fan Kaini Shikori welcomed NBA star Kyrie Irving to Japan. Coco Vandeweghe looking stylish in a feature for Rolling Stone magazine. Coco's uncle and grandfather, by the way, both played in the NBA. And Coco says that she quit basketball to pursue tennis when she was 13 because of girls being girls. 
Maria Sharapova remembers her vacay before she headed back to the court for the Orange County Breakers in World Team Tennis. Andy Roddick's humorous take on Roger Federer's Wimbledon triumph. And I love this one from Nike's tribute to Roger's record eighth Wimbledon crown with the tagline, if you're not here to cut the grass, get off this lawn. Love that one. Dustin Brown and David Ferrer proving that touch artistry never goes out of style. Oh, he's got it. What a point that was. Fun to watch. And that's our news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.